All right, guys, I'm going to supplement a license plate here. First thing I want to make sure is that your heat press is set to 370. And it's 45 seconds. You guys got to remember, everybody's heat press is going to be different. Everybody's time is going to be different. Um, so you're going to have to mess around with that and make sure you get the right time and temp for your project on your heat press. So it's a little different for everybody. Um, anyway, this design I'm going to use... I don't like the way it's going to come out with this on the background, so I like the background, I like the way this looks, so I'll make a little offset on it. I'm over here using, I'm using uh, Silhouette Studio for this. And I'm going to change the offset, because I think it's too big for this. I'm going to change it to 0 0.05. Let's see what that looks like. Takes a second. Okay, and then over here you can choose whether you want... Oh, let me move the camera a little bit this way. There we go. Over here you can choose whether you want it to be squared corners or rounded. I'm going to leave it rounded because most of the writing is rounded. The dog is rounded. We're all well rounded. Let's straighten out the camera so you guys aren't tilted at an angle and make you dizzy. All right. Um, I want it to be white, so I'm going to do the white. Move this over. And I think that looks good right there. Okay, so now my next step, my license plate is 12 inches by um, 6. So I want my cutout to be 12. I mean, actually, I want it 13 by 7. Reason being, I want it to be overlapped so it's not, there's no white involved. So now that I make my box squared, I'm going to come over here. And I want this to be 12. Oops, oops. 13 inches wide, unlock it, 7 inches tall. Now I know what size I need this image to be. First I'm going to adjust, whoopsie, let me get this out of the way, I got to highlight all these. I'm going to group them just to make it easier to adjust everything. And I'm going to widen it until it reaches. Well, actually, that's actually as wide as I need it because <clears throat> I made the square on top a little bigger. So now I'm going to line it, line, center, and middle. So that way it's perfectly centered. I'm going to bring this over, and this is what I need to adjust. I want the white, the lighter blue to be in the center. So I'm going to line it up over here. And I'm going to bring this out to line up over here to this edge. And that is what I want. So now I'm going to click on the little red box. Let's move this puppy to the back. And now when I get the box. Okay. And now I'm going to crop it. So I need my panel modify. And click crop. Once I highlight my boxes, I know what I need to I'm gonna crop it. And now I'm going to send this to the back. And there's my image. Like I said, it's going to be an inch taller than it needs to be and an inch wider uh, than it needs to be. Just to be sure. But I just realized this is going to be just a tad bit to the top too much. And I also want to take into account where the screw holes are on this. I don't want the image to be cut by the image by the. I don't want the image to be cut by that. All right now, once I have this adjusted, I'm going to readjust it now. Make sure it's all right. 
We're going to do object, align, center, and middle. Okay. That's what I want. That's what I got. I'm going to put you on pause while I get my paper ready. All right, so the piece of paper I get is A sub. I do get the 11 by 17. That way I can just crop out what I don't need. Each one of these sheets makes two 11 by 8s. 11 half by 8. Or I can change it to legal size, which is all I need for the license plates. And I know my cutter's not long enough, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big, it's not a hard fit. So I cut it the eight, the eight and a half. And I know there's 17 inches, like I cut three inches off of it. To make it legal size. And there we have, yeah, wasted little sheets, but it's better than buying a whole pack of uh, legal and a whole pack of eight and a half by eleven. Now, before you print this, you do have to change your settings on here. So go down to file, print page setup, and you got to change this right here to legal, eight and a half by fourteen, and we're doing. Landscape. Okay, now file, print. Now yeah, let's cancel that. Let's switch that back over to. I did landscape. Why didn't it? Doop -de doop. So, still did it. Alright, make one. <clears throat> we'll do this. Make it easier. No. Oh. I know what I'm doing wrong. Page setup. Gotta change this to. Adjust this here. I'm going to rotate this object. It doesn't matter if you do it clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't really matter. And I just put it on the page here. Get in there. Okay. Now we'll go to File, Print. And the whole image is on there. Click my print button. And unfortunately, for some reason or other, I have to check my settings on my printer all the time. I don't know why. See, it changed it again. So just be sure to check it. Even if you know you did it a few hours earlier. Change your settings to premium presentation matte, quality high, print preview. Click on more options. Take it off a of high speed and click mirror image. That way you don't have to worry about mirroring it. Click OK. Click apply. Click print. <clears throat> It'll take a second here. All right, print preview here. Make sure everything looks right. Then click on print. This will take a few minutes, so I'm gonna pause you guys, and we'll be right back. A little side note. Mine. I don't know if anybody else does it. But mine. When you ask. When you put change it to legal size, it's going to ask you if that's what you want. Just click OK. And then click OK. And it'll start printing. All right, and before we press the image, <clears throat> unfortunately, our hands have a lot of oil on them. And you don't want it to affect sublimation. So I use a little rubbing alcohol and a terry cloth just to make sure there's no oils on it. 
know, I'll attempt to avoid touching it afterwards, but I'm bound to touch it. Print's almost done, and we'll be right there. All right, after you make sure your license plate is completely dry, here's my printout. As you see, it's not very vibrant or, you know, nice, but it, it will change. <clears throat> so now, just because it's easier for me to see, I put the image down, put the license plate over it, and center it. I know I have an extra inch on top, I mean an extra half inch on all sides. So extra inch up, down, an extra inch on sides. Once I get this lined up, I use my heat tape right here just to hold it in place. I'm going to bring it over here to my heat press. Now we're at my heat press. <clears throat> now the image goes on top. Uh oh. Tape came off. Let's get ourselves some new tape. See, things happen. I'll just do it right over here so I don't have to transfer it anywhere. Avoid any possible issues. Okay, that's lined up again. And by the way, yes, definitely put your part your butch paper down, because if not, you're gonna wind up getting some uh, stuff on your pad, you have to get yourself a new pad. I right, get some new heat tape here. Anything is I don't want the image to move again. Um, okay. That's on there. Make sure it's down there good. Flip it over, put it here. <clears throat> Another piece of part, uh, parchment uh, no, butcher paper on top. And I have to adjust my time. I was actually I looked at my cheat sheet. It's actually 370 for 60 seconds. Alright, we're just about ready. going to be hot so and do your best not to take the tape off here so you don't damage so you don't scratch your image and yes this is very hot but I cooked for 30 years so I can take the heat somewhat I'll bring you guys for a closer look. Check out how vibrant that is. So again, 370, 16 seconds. But again, keep in mind, that your heat press may be better than mine. Just keep in mind, your heat press may be different than mine. You get better heat press. You may have to have a different temperature, better timing. So check your times, check your temperatures. Uh, we're all going to be different. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing, you know, if you're doing a cup and you're doing it on a press, oh, well, not a press, but a, you know, a mug press, temperature's going to be different than mine whether you do it in the oven or not. Um, <clears throat> if you're doing decals, again, that's a decal I made. Um, just stuck it on my vape. My time and temp is going to be different than your time and temp. So just experiment, check it out. Um, you know, like, share, and let me know what you guys think. Appreciate your time.